Thanks. June has been quite slow on the tech releases, but it is a month of updates that sees improvements to various devices, and coincidentally we've got two Apple products and two smart speakers. So starting off, the Apple HomePod is getting the ability to recognise who is speaking to it. Now that might seem like a minor change, but that one change does come with a lot of benefits. By recognising your specific voice means that the experience is then automatically tailored to how you use it. So all your music, reminders, calendar events, anything specific really, will be readily available to you specifically through your voice. The main benefit to this will obviously be to those in, say, a household with multiple people who use the HomePod. Events and reminders won't have to overlap, for example. And additionally, another small update is a handoff from iPhones. So if you have music playing on your iPhone, it will transition to the HomePod when brought within a certain proximity of it. So it's great to see little updates like this. The usefulness of them will vary from person to person depending on how they use it, but the increase of efficiency and versatility certainly improves their appeal. Now onto our second Apple device update, the Apple TV has announced a small but useful update due out soon, picture in picture. So for anyone unaware, it just means that whatever you're currently watching can shrink down and play over the top of whatever else you're doing. So say if you're in the middle of an episode and don't want to have to pause and back out to browse, it will continue playing in the corner as you do so. Now I, I know that's hardly a huge, dramatic, exciting new feature by any means, but given the immediate accessibility of video streaming, it's a good quality of life improvement that simply refines the experience of using the Apple TV. Having something playing in the background while playing on the Apple Arcade, for example. Right now it's only available within the Apple TV app itself, but hopefully in future it will be made available for other apps like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and so on. And finally, onto our second smart speaker update. For any parents out there who want to take precautions when it comes to their kids' devices, Amazon now has the Echo Dot Kids Edition. Based off the third gen Echo, the Kids Edition features a new design and better sound quality, but more importantly though is that the experience is more age appropriate for kids. And this can be fine tuned with specific age brackets, the choice of what content is appropriate, blocking specific content, as well as when it can give responses and how long it can be used for. So it's versatile, which is great, enough so that parents can have some peace of mind with allowing their kids access to its features. Now given how easily the Echo can answer questions, provide information, and read audiobooks and so on, it provides a lot of benefits to curious kids, so this kids edition is a great way of mitigating the risk of misuse. And for a final bit of news, AMD's new Ryzen 3000 line of CPUs is due out next month, but it's already been making waves due to the Ryzen 3600 boasting some impressive specs and some lofty claims. Now according to the stats provided by CPUbenchmark.net, the 3600 beats out Intel's i9-9900K single-threaded performance. Now as of right now, the i9-9900K is the fastest single-threaded and highest clocked Intel chip available. AMD has a habit of biting at Intel's heels, but in the past few years they've made more of an effort to compete outright, and now here comes the Ryzen 3600 that seemingly overtakes the competition. But single-threaded performance is one thing. But the stats also show some incredible multi-threaded performance that, again, overtakes the i9. Only by a fraction, I should stress, but even so. One thing to note is that there's no information as to whether these numbers come from the base clock speeds, or whether there was some subtle overclocking to beef up the numbers, which has been the case with pre-release CPU stats. Even so, at any rate, the Ryzen 3000 line, the 3600 especially, looks impressive as hell, and once it's out in the wild next month we can take a closer look and see how those stats translate into gaming performance. Six.